Future Artist 1234 is back, and I'm here with part 3 of the basics of how to edit in After Effects, aka how to edit like a boss. And the reason for this being a part 3 to it, because um, the keyframing uh, took the tutorials on keyframing took way longer than I thought it would be so I separated it into two uh this I separated part two into two parts so now this is a three part basics the basics have been turned into three parts but anyways in this part I go over the basics of keyframing uh easy is easy ease keyframes easy is and keyframes easy ease out keyframes and regular keyframes go over the basics of it and yeah guys that's about it now I'm gonna teach you guys a little bit about keyframing. So I'm gonna delete all. I deleted all the things here, and I just wanna start fresh, and just add this back in. And let me just change the size of it back to 67. All right. Now I'm gonna go over keyframing, and basically what that is is uh, if you see. And a lot of most of the effects, or what well, most of uh, the settings and effects, plugins, presets, and transform values and all that have a stopwatch. And what that is is uh, if you if you have a stop if it has a stopwatch, that means you can animate it and keyframe it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna first show you an example of it. So let's say we want this video to pop out from the left and come into the like be out screen. Like let me show you guys. Like it's gonna come from over here and it's just after like a second it's gonna like come into the frame all the way like it's just gonna start it's gonna come into a video like a car <laughs> it's gonna travel to the video so let me uh, do that let me show you guys how to do that what you do is keyframe it so position I'm gonna keep put my first keyframe in the first frame and I'm gonna move it out this is gonna be the f beginning of my uh, of my animation and I'm gonna find like maybe at 15 frames I want it to come into the video actually no I'm gonna put it at around one second one second is when I want it to come in all the way so you can either click a keyframe here and then toggle with the settings or you can just toggle with the settings itself but if you're gonna put multiple keyframes uh, actually yeah just you it's better to do this instead of uh... to keep uh to click it then change the settings because if you're gonna change it anyways there's no need to click and put another keyframe in unless there's a situation where you have to do it and I don't I can't think of one right now but um anyways what I just did was um, I added one keyframe here which is the beginning where it's out of the frame the videos out of the frame and one keyframe here the end where the videos in the frame so if if you guys can tell after when I did that it had this little long line with dots in it and what it did was basically make it so every frame the video is the, the middle of the video is getting closer and closer and closer and closer just the vid middle of it so I'm just gonna preview that for you guys as you can see yeah I'm gonna preview that as you can see the video after one second it came over here and that's what keyframing is it lets, lets you animate all types of things and change settings and all that whatever uh... through time so i'm gonna do another example so once it plays when there's like about half a second left like maybe half a second like right here maybe let me get over here i'm gonna make it so it fades out so i'm gonna make my first uh... i'm gonna enable keyframing here that's gonna be my first uh... this is gonna be the beginning and then now i'm gonna add an ending and just so you guys know, it doesn't only it, it doesn't only allow you to put two keyframes. It actually allows you to put more and more. So actually, I'm gonna do the, um, I'm gonna show you an example. So I want it, so while it's uh, coming in, I want it to fade in. So I'm gonna do that. And this there we go. This is an example of when I click this because I was uh, making the keyframe first. So I'm gonna make it so that it fades in and comes into the video. And then when there's like half a second left. I'm gonna make it so it fades out. So on this keyframe, it's gonna be on 100, and then on this keyframe here, I'm gonna change it to zero. And if you guys have noticed, you can go to other keyframes by clicking this. That's pretty quick. This is pretty easy way to go to other keyframes. So you don't accidentally like go over here and think the keyframe is over here and then change the settings, which could mess a lot of your things up. But um, anyways, let's preview that. 
it's gonna basically come into the video while fading in, fade in and come into the video from the left, and then when it's half a second left, it's gonna fade out. So I'm gonna show you guys this. Let's preview that. Let's just let it preview. Uh, and there you go, guys. Fades in, comes into the video, fades out. All right. So now I'm gonna show you guys something. The different types of keyframes you can do, which is the easy ease, easy ease in, and easy ease out. So first I'm going to show you easy ease in and out. And so easy ease in is where you usually use uh, a keyframe that's after another keyframe, not the beginning. It doesn't really work when that don't, okay. So it works for keyframes that are after another keyframe. Easy ease ends because when you're coming into that frame. And basically what it does, it changes the speed of the key, uh, it's not going to be a linear, like, I'm going to do some math terms here, but from here to here, if it's just regular keyframes, it's going to be a linear line of movement. And I know that sounds weird if you don't know algebra, but when you do easy is, easy is out, easy is in, or whatever, it's going to turn it into nonlinear line which is kind of like calculus or whatever I think you can say it's calculus like you can see this is not a straight line if you um if I change this back to a regular keyframe uh, how do I, ch I don't know how to change it back to a regular keyframe sorry about that I'll just uh, change it myself like that and if you look here in the graph editor it's a linear line as you can see it's a straight line it's the same movement through from this point to this point but when I put in easy as n it's gonna make it go kind of straight here and then over here it's gonna curve it a little bit which is gonna cause the slowing down so what it does it gets to the destination pretty quick here and then it slows down so I'm gonna preview that for you guys so you could see it as you guys can see it came in pretty fast and then boom I mean sorry about that was horrible that was just horrible let me start that over boom and then slow down It's pretty hard to uh, notice it, but if you go, I'm just going to go pretty slowly so you guys can see. Yeah, there. I'm going to go with just my mouse. As you guys can see, it kind of smooths. It's a smooth transition. And you can do the same from here. If you use easy as out, that means it's going to slowly come out and then come in fast. But since it's as easy as out and easy as in, I'm going to assume that it goes fast, normal, then fast again. Let's just look at the graph editor for that. And as you guys can see, it goes pretty fast and then normal in a straight line and then fast again. So that's basically what easy is and easy out does. It just makes smooth transition. And you can actually customize it yourself. So it goes pretty well as like how you want it. So I'm going to um, delete all these keyframes and show you uh, an easy ease version of a customized easy ease version. Okay. Why is it not in the frame? Oh, okay, the opacity is here. Sorry about that. Uh, so I'm going to make it f to come from the left. 650, whatever. This is going to be my first keyframe. And I'm going to add a keyframe here. So this is where it's going to come in. Actually, no, I'm going to add it here. So it's, so it's going to be easier to uh, notice the speed change. I'm going to put 640 all the way over here. So let's preview this. This is a linear line right now. Uh, it's pretty s straight line. It's linear. So as you guys can see, it, so same speed when it comes in and comes out. Same speed. But I'm gonna make this look pretty good by making these two frames uh, easy ease. Go over here, easy ease. I'm not gonna put easy ease in or easy ease out because I don't want to do that right now. But um, oh, it's my bad. Let me just go over here. And then, if you guys can uh, preview that, it's actually easy is and easy is out. Easy is in and easy is out, If you did, since I did it for these two. And now, I'm going to customize it so it's uh, it goes in pretty fast, and then it just slows down in the middle of it. So right here is when I want it to, like, almost be like all the way over here so I'm gonna make another keyframe and put this up eh, like 
right here. I'm not going to get it too close, because if I get it all the way up, then the keyframe is going to be gone, because it's not needed. Actually, it's not going to be gone. It's going to... Uh, let me just put it up over here. And now, I'm going to preview this. And as you guys can see, it came in pretty quick, and it slowed down. Sorry about that. It's pretty hard to notice. Let me fix this up a little bit. Okay, there we go. Let's try and see that. Yeah, there you go. As you guys can see, it was pretty fast coming from here to here, and then it slowed down from here because this is like this is closer to a straight like to a horizontal line than this is. As you guys can see, this is a lot of movement in the line, and this one barely has any. So from here to here, it's gonna be pretty fast since this has the most movement. This keyframe to this keyframe. And then this one barely has any movement, so it's going to be pretty slow. Like, just look at it. This to this gets from here all the way to here. And this one to this only just gets it from here to here. And that's what basically easy is keyframes, keyframing and graph editing and all that can let you do. It's pretty good for animating, and it makes pretty good transitions. So, I... I, I'm going to start using this in edits and stuff. Probably, this is used mostly in intro. You could tell some intros use this. But anyways, I think that's about it about keyframes for now. And I'm just going to reset all of this and put this back to 67. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to reset it and change the composition size to 12. I mean, 1920 and 1080 because uh, I want to keep changing it over and over again every freaking time. Let me just reset this, take off the stopwatch, reset this, take off all the uh, keyframes. Alright, so that's about it about keyframes. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Tell me if this episode was helpful to you guys, and if you guys like the series. And uh, if you did like the series, if you did like this video, comment, like, and like leave a rating, subscribe if you haven't already, if you're new here, if you want to see more videos. And yeah, guys, see ya.